Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. This is another project for the Piece of Cake Make and Take class packet. And it's a box. It opens up just like that. Okay, let me give you the supplies. This is Grapefruit Grove. And this measures eight by five and a half. And another piece that measures three by three. That's for our one and three quarter circle here. We've got Whisper White, and that's for the happy birthday, and then the little candles. And it looks like I lost one of my rhinestones there. Uh, I, okay, so we've got five pieces of the designer series paper. So we've got two pieces that measure two by one and three quarters, two pieces that measure one and three quarters by one and three eighths, and then one piece that measures two by one and a quarter. Okay, you can see how it's covered on every um, side except for the bottom. Okay, so let's get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Okay, so I'm going to place it on the landscape side, which is the 8-inch side, and I'm going to score it at one and a half, three and three quarters, five and a quarter, and seven and a half. I'm going to turn it on the five and a half inch side, and I'm going to score it at uh, one and a half. Oops, goodness gracious, I jumped the track. Uh, three and a half and five. Okay, so now what we want to do is some cutting. So before I even fold it, I want to uh, point out that we've got the half inch here and the half inch here. Okay, so you might want to make note of that so that you don't cut the wrong spot. So that's what I'm removing on this side is that half inch piece. And then I'm going to remove this one down here. Okay. We did make this box not that long ago. Um, I believe I used the celebration item. Okay. So still I'm on this half inch section up here and I'm going to skip this one and come over here to this one and then I'm going to remove this entire section all the way across, okay? Now, we also want to remove this square right here, this block. Okay? Now the rest of these score lines I need to cut down to, okay? I'm gonna angle cut this, angle cut that, and then down here I'm gonna cut up to the score line on each of these lines. The diagram of this will be on the free inspiration sheet, okay? So now let's fold on those score lines, and you can do this either before you cut or after. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to cut exactly on those score lines before you actually fold on them. Hopefully I worded that right. <laughs> this is like my third video today. Okay, so this top part up here is the top of our box, and I just want to round those corners. So I'm going to get my Detail Trio Punch and place that in there and press. Same thing on this side. So when I was designing this piece of cake class, I was limited because the designer series paper is only six by six. So this is that's how this um, project came to be was that it was something that I could use um, with a six by six sheet of paper. Okay, so let me get my take your pick tool. I'm going to remove the backing and fold this over just like that. Okay, so now this is going to be the front bottom of my box. So I'm going to fold that over and use my tear and tape again. I think I just heard Elvis So fold, fold, and fold. 
Now we want to do one more thing. We want to take our um, three quarter inch circle punch. So if this is too tight of a fit, which that's kind of perfect for me, but if it's too tight, you can always just give this a little angle cut right there. So let me take the three quarter circle punch and just notch this. This just helps you know where the front of the box is and this punch is actually retiring. Okay, I'm gonna get my liquid glue now and we're gonna add the designer series paper. So I'm gonna turn all of these over, but I'm only gonna work on a couple of them at a time. I don't wanna confuse myself. <laughs> I'm gonna close this though, that'll make it easier. Okay, there's that one. And this goes on the back. And you don't have to do the back side if you don't want to. That would certainly help you figure out which side is the front. Okay, then now this, we'll do the sides. Well, I think that's the top. <laughs> it is. And now the sides. Elvis hears somebody outside. I do too. It may be the UPS guy. Okay, so there's that. We want to open this back up and punch again that half inch or three quarter inch circle, half circle, okay? Now we'll close it. Let's cut out our, I've already got this, but I wanna show you guys how to use it for those that get the packet. Although this is already gonna be cut for you if you get the packet, so. Um, but what we're gonna do now is take, we're all, we always have leftover uh, ribbon and this measures five inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm leaving it long for now because we'll trim it in just a minute, but I'm just going to turn this over and I'm going to attach that using my tear and tape. Use your favorite adhesive. Uh, to be honest, a lot of times I actually use scotch tape uh, to tape my ribbon on, but since I ran out of scotch tape several weeks ago, Oh, the tear and tape works just fine so okay so now this is going to get added to the front of our box with uh, a dimensional but I want to trim the ribbon and make it a little bit smaller so that was just basically taking my scraps okay I bet you guys all have some right I'm going to turn that over and add two dimensionals one down here at the bottom and one down here or top and bottom, I should say. And I'm just going to center it. Now we're ready to stamp. I'm using two different inks. I'm using gray granite for the candles. And the reason I, I chose gray granite, I can't talk today, is um, I when I was creating this project, I stamped those candles first in uh, Memento. And it was just... It was too stark. It was too dark for me. So, you know, you don't have to use the gray granite if you don't want to. I just chose that one because I liked it. You could also use smoky slate if you wanted. Okay, so let me show you how I did the candles. So we'll go over here and cut the uh, happy birthday out first. And then I'm going to use the same punch, punch to cut out the candles. We're going to make some adjustments to that. Okay, so whack and whack. And I guess I should call it cutting instead of whacking, but it's more fun to say whack, right? Okay, so this is gonna go just like that, and it's easier to go ahead and attach these together before you put it on the card, or the, the box. So I'm just gonna use my 
liquid glue. Oops, come here. And then add that. That's the beauty of the liquid glue is that you can shift it if it's not straight. Okay, so now I'm gonna take two dimensionals, one down here, one up here. And then I'm gonna add my rhinestones. And it's easier to add the rhinestones now before you put it on the box, otherwise you might uh, squash your box. So I'm gonna take, and you don't have to do this. You can, um, you could color your candles with a marker if you want to. I just figured, um, this project, or all of these projects actually needed bling, so I used the rhinestones for the bling for this class. Okay, that one did not stick, and it's crooked. I feel like I'm doing surgery here. There we go. Okay, now let's look at this. We might need to give it a slight trim if it's too tall. It's actually not, it looks good. Yeah, I think if you compare, I trimmed um, that down just a little bit more, but it's okay. They don't have to be the same. Okay, so don't forget, there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website, and all the details of my class packet are over there as well. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.